It is with a heavy heart that I present to you Taboo 2, this time with an intro. Guess what? Yesterday, this was on our YouTube page, and it had over a million views. Now, this is not repurposed content. It's original. I'll be in front. I'll be in back. I don't like being benched from YouTube. Anyways, I like that Dorothy LeMay reminds me of a young Courtney Love. There's a minute and 10 second long tracking shot of the girls going, and it's super cool. Clearly, if you're not a filmmaker, it's a stolen shot on a long lens. Amazing. The Taboo series is known for a filmmaking. Honestly, if you don't know that, you can take my word for it or just watch them. Watch them. We have them all. You can watch them with your children. They're G-rated. Oh, and another thing is I love that the last line of this picture is, My God. My God. The film makes me miss my mom. My God. Are you always messing around? Why not? Because I'm your sister. So what? You're gross. You know what? What? You're right. There's a car shop over there. Won't you stop? Just pull over. Right over here, okay? Up. Can you come back tomorrow? Oh, please. We just want a birthday card for our father. It'll only take a second. Okay. Sherry? Mrs. Scott? Well, how are you? Well, I've been fine, but what happened, Mrs. Scott? One day you and Paul were there, and the next day you were gone. Where is he? Paul lives with his father now. The least he could have done was call me. Well, it was all very sudden. How about this one? No, I'll find a better one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd like to introduce my brother, Greg Jr. We just call him Jr. Jr.? I was a buddy of Paul's. I was looking for him because, uh... He left some tools with me. Uh, you're going to be seeing him, aren't you? I certainly hope so. Then I could uh, return them to you, right? How about tonight? <laughs> How much is this card, Mrs. Scott? My pleasure, dear. Oh. Thanks a lot. What's with you and Mrs. Scott? She's Paul's mother, and she's old enough to be your mother. Well, what's wrong with that? You know, you're freaky. So what's wrong with that? See you later. What about Dad's birthday? You didn't even buy him a card. Uh, sign that one from both of us. Where are you going? See a lady who's old enough to be my mother.
here. What's this? Oh, new tools instead of flowers. How original. Barbara, we have company. Happy birthday. Come on, Mom, sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daddy. Happy birthday to you. No, Dad. You gotta make a wish first. Oh, okay. I know what I'd wish. Great. <laughs> Here's your present. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Well, let's see here. A shirt. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And a card. It's from Junior, too. And why didn't he sign it? Speaking of Junior, where is he? Oh, I'm sure he'll be here soon. Well, he could have at least made it in time for the cake. Or he could have called, at least. Maybe he didn't want to spend a dime. You're always picking on him. Yeah, and you're always rushing to his defense. He's not a kid anymore. He's just a baby. Junior, is that you? Sorry, Mom. I guess I missed the festivities. By about four hours. Why are you so late? Well, I met these two ladies and we... Never mind. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I can guess. Is, uh, is Dad P.O.'d? I'll talk to him. Thanks, Mom. Well, aren't you going to tell me what's wrong? I can't. Don't you feel well? No, that's not it. Don't tell me you're still thinking about Paul. I don't ever want to hear that name again. I bet I know what would make you feel better. Nothing. Not even your own car? Yeah, a car. I'll speak to your father again. You will? Sure. God, I know just the kind I want. I'm going to check the paper. Mom? Sure. You sure are pretty. Yeah. I think I'm going to ask Dad to buy me a Ferrari. A red one. I think they're real cute. You crazy. Why? Aren't they any good? He can do more than you'd ever imagine And do it with style, he does it with me Oh yes he does I know that you thought that you knew him Well maybe you did, but you don't Only reveal what he wants you to see. A 
him then show it all And when he does, he satisfies me If you only knew Just what he could do You'd want him to If you only knew Will that be all, Mr. McBride? Yes, that'll be all, Miss Goodhue. <laughs> Do you think she's pretty? Prettier than me? Nobody's prettier than my baby. Uh, did Mom talk to you about getting me a car? Mom talked to me about the car, you talked to me about the car, and we all talked about getting the car at least once a week. And at least once a week, I tell you that your grades are terrible. You never crack a book because you're always spending too much time with those boys, who, by the way, are much too old for you. I'm attracted to older guys. What are you thinking about, Dad? Oh, just how cute you were when you were a little girl. Remember how I used to push you on the swings? Oh, sure. How could I forget? That was fun. Yeah. Remember how you used to sit on my lap and I'd read to you? You were so sweet then. I'm still very sweet. <laughs> and I'm a lot older. Old enough to have my very own car. Hmm. Please, Daddy. Can't we at least look? Okay, baby. We'll go look. But look does not mean buy. Okay. Have a nice day, Daddy. Don't forget about the car. Shh. Quiet, Junior. Dad will hear us. Do you know what time it is, young lady? Oh, I'm sorry it's so late, Dad. I didn't know what time it was. Have you seen your brother? Were you with him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a damn sight better than that motorcycle gang you've been hanging out with. Yeah, well, have a good trip, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Not in yet, operator, but please have him call home as soon as possible. It's urgent. Greg, I have to admit you were right. You better sit down, because what I'm about to tell you is going to give you a stroke. Greg, when I came home from the airport, I went to Sherry's room. I couldn't believe it. You wouldn't have believed it either. 
Thank God you weren't here, Greg. You would have just come apart. No, that's too hysterical. I've got to be calm. I've got to ease into this thing. People do strange things. Even your own kids do things that shock you. Things you wouldn't believe. Greg, I'm sure this must have happened in other families. They just hide it. They don't tell anybody. Greg, perhaps it's more prevalent than you think. Who knows about human behavior? Even your own kids. It's not Sherry's fault, it's mine. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Just don't tell them. I've always gotten you out of trouble before. But this is different. I don't see why you have to tell him at all. Your dad's so square, he's not like you. No. He's not like me. You know, you and I are a lot alike. Sure, you remember what it was like when you were young? Young? You know what I remember about what I really liked when I was young? Dancing. I don't dance much anymore. I'll dance with your mom. Junior, I really like the way you dance. Mm -hmm. Joyce? Mm hmm. It's Greg. Mm hmm. Is that you? Mm hmm. Well, I'm sorry I didn't call you last night. It was just too late when I got your messages. So what were those frantic calls about? I've taken care of everything. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Oh, so that's why you've been holding back from joining them. I haven't been able to think of anything else all night. Maybe they won't come. Not to worry. I'm never wrong about these things. Junior. This is Mary Lou. And Gina said it was all right if I brought Sherry along. Yes, she mentioned you might come. I hope it's okay, Mrs. Scott. Okay. You're absolutely fantastic. You've got your work cut out for you. Can I leave you two alone? I wasn't sure that you'd want to come. Oh, I wouldn't have missed this for anything. And there's something different about you. I get home at 3 o'clock in the morning. After spending five hours on a plane, I wake up, my wife's gone. I'm the only one working in this family, and I can't even get a cup of coffee. Wrong. And I'm making you breakfast, too. Oh. Well, that's terrific, honey. Mm. But, uh, where is everybody? Search me.
Hello. Hello, Sherry. May I please speak to your father? Is this Miss Goodhue? Yes, it is. Well, my father came home very late last night, and I do not want him to be disturbed. Thank you. Goodbye. Looks good. All except the toast. It's a little burnt. Are they okay? Well, I'm not too big on eggshells. Well, I was in a rush. Mm. There was something that we had to do today, Dad. Mm -hmm. Like what? You know, there was a thing about a little red four-wheeled object. Mm. Well, before we uh, do that, I think we should have a little chat. Oh, boy. Here it comes. No, no, no. This is serious. My God. <laughs> Our second video that has a million views and our second video to get deleted we got the 1 million curse all right thanks for watching guys if you watched this in the past and you are one of the 1m the 1 million thank you if you are new and now you're in our new little ticker thank you even more well no thank you equally I hope you enjoyed it. We're doing new intros for Taboo 2, 3, and 4. I don't know how these got released without an intro. I do these intros. My God. I believe you. Come to think of it, he is persistent. And he has such a big 